In the North Bay, a residential substance abuse treatment program that's been operating in Sonoma County for more than 40 years is on the verge of closing. The decision is devastating to the more than 50 women and children who live at the homes and now may have nowhere to go. ABC 7 News anchor Liz Kreuz reports that the impending closure even took county officials by surprise. For more than 40 years, Athena House in Sonoma County has been a safe haven for women and their children facing addiction. I feel safe on this property. A beloved substance abuse treatment home where alumni like Vilay Pamavitseth and Brooke Ross say they got their lives back. You come in when somebody's just gotten to the program and they're lost, empty, you know, just a, a hole. And, and you come back in a couple of weeks and see the light and the spark and the hope. But Athena House, which currently operates out of the Stone House in Santa Rosa, is on the brink of closure. The nonprofit that runs the program, California Human Development, says that due to rising costs from inflation and challenges from the pandemic, they can no longer afford to keep it going. They've decided to shut down the program and have told all the women and children to leave the home by the end of July. I was given a phone call and it was devastating. Everybody from the property, we had a, um, a process group and a lot of them cried. Many of the women who graduate from Athena House come live here at this sober living facility, Hope Village, but it's also scheduled to close. The women tell us it's unclear now where they're gonna go. There isn't anywhere for these women to go. That's the truth. Sylvie Vatanel de la Cruz oversees Athena House and Hope Village. She says the closures impact more than 50 women and children, many of whom could soon be homeless. Because of Athena House, I have learned how to live free of drugs, free of alcohol. Since the announcement, dozens of former Athena House alumni have shared videos pleading for the program to stay open. They've started to go fund me and are hoping someone, anyone with money and support will step in to help. Officials with the county say they're also disappointed by the closure and hope to find a solution to keep it open. Whether that's funding from the federal government, the state government, county, private, I don't think anybody cares where it comes from, just as long as it's there and fast. In Santa Rosa, Liz Kreutz, ABC 7 News.